nothing but vocal truth Holding views with the point of views of the holy truth That's why I'm mostly viewed as one of the lonely youth Hoping soon Don't Kill the Children is probably one of the first couple of songs that were written for this album and by first I mean like old it's one of the, the oldest songs that we recorded um, Battle Cat had this beat man and this beat was supposedly originally when I heard the beat it, it belonged to originally when I heard the beat it belonged to it was supposed to have belonged to Mr. Beef Three months later, yo man, you guys ain't really got to the beat. Can I, you know, can I take the beat? <laughs> nah, you can't take the beat. This is somebody else's beat. Out, out of nowhere, next thing, yo, can yo, whose beat is this? Nah, yo, now the beat is gonna be optical. Optical is working on the album. They're trying to come back. They're trying to, oh snap. Okay, cool. So, yo, you guys are taking that beat. Yeah, we're taking that beat. <sighs> it got to a point where it was like, you know what? I'm gonna record to this beat <laughs> and I'm gonna play it to this guy and ask him if he's okay with the song. And if he's okay with the song, I'm gonna use the beat. I remember I rolled up in here and I told Instra, I was like, yo man, this is not my beat. This beat is supposed to belong to someone, but there's this thing I wanna do on this beat that I really think is gonna convince this guy to give me this beat if I play it for him. You know, if I play it for him, recorded. And sure enough, um, I wrote Don't Kill the Children to this beat. Um, and Don't Kill the Children really originally was just some verses that I wrote and just some some day they coincidentally worked with that beat, you know, kind of, it kind of was writing on the same tip. Um, and, and, and the song was really about um, social commentary. Um, it was all about, you know, this, the, the stuff we see on TV, the stuff we see on the net, the stuff we see or we hear on radio. Um, you know, all the rappers, all the actors, all of us, every single one of us, even me, you know, um, what, what, what are we doing? that's really like you know affecting kids you know like swearing in music you know i do that too and all that stuff that's that could be considered as an element of killing of, of, of killing the children and and we brought we brought nombonga in because um we thought it would be nice to add a little bit of um vinek, yes but more um traditional kind of thinking because you know kids traditionally are very are valued you know they're valued highly you know um, I'd like to think that Africans really really embrace and value their kids and we thought it would be nice to actually take it there and go as far as saying okay cool since this is something that you know we want to actually you know focus on that specific area it would actually be cool if we got somebody who sings and speaks closer to add a little bit more context to what we're saying the so one thing that i really like about lombong is that you know i find she can speak she can say what she wants to say in in her language and, and she makes so much sense i thought it would really really help you know my my initiative um, in this particular song to to ask her to come and speak and you know even till today, man, I, I don't know how she did it, but she got it, you know, she, 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 she walked in here, listened to the song, listened to the concept, wrote, recorded and left. And I find her, 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 her hook is actually quite deep as well, because when I listened to her words, I started listening to my words differently, you know, because, you know, she speaks about which is like you're, you're, burping, you're burping starvation out of your mind. You know what I mean? Who do you think is gonna raise these kids? You know what I mean? What do you think you're gonna feed these kids if everything that you're bringing out of your head is just nothing? It's not, it, that kind of relates to food for thought, you know? Um, and that was very interesting. I was like, yo man, it, 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 it made me look at the rest of the album differently as well, because I was starting to wonder, you know, these songs that I'm writing, you know, I'm, I'm, what am I saying? You know, do they mean anything? Do they have anything to do with anything? You know, do they matter? So yeah, don't kill the children. That's that's the little bit of a story behind don't kill the children. If you go away, then I will be the best you never had. I'm an easy kind of brother. It is arguably my favorite writing uh, piece of writing because you know it was that it was that beat, man. It was that beat, man. It you know it, that instro had that beat, man, and that beat goes in, yo. Know, it. It was like it was it was it was a banging beat because I found it was arranged and I thought to myself, how am I gonna write this song in such a way that I always go back to this day, you know? Um, and this is like on a on a writing level. This is I haven't got a concept, I don't have anything, but I'm just listening to a beat and I'm thinking to myself, you know, what am I gonna put where, what am I gonna you know? And I thought, well, it, it would actually be nice to actually write a breakup song, you know, it would be interesting to write a breakup song, you know. And literally I took 
I took all my exes and I lined them up in my head. <laughs> I took all my exes and I lined them up in my head. <laughs> and trust me, that song has all my exes that have ever pissed me off. I mean, not all my exes that I've broken up with, but all the exes that really ever pissed me off, that I really was like, you know what, like, leave me alone, you know? I think I took all of them in my head and I, and I made this one person. The song for me was really a writing exercise. Um, because the whole album is, is just very personal and very like specific about things that actually happened in my life. That particular song just has a lot of things that have happened in, into my life and put together to write one story. Um, and I think it was it was it, it ended up being that I ended up being okay with that because it, it, it almost felt like it was the same for Instro where it was like a, a producing exercise of taking a sample that everybody knows was for a certain song and then reworking it, you know, and and having a very, very different kind of beat at the end of it, you know. Um, both songs produced by very credible hip hop producers. Um, but he, he decided to have another approach to it and he, he wanted to make it bang and he wanted to make it thump and I wanted to tell a story that could actually be challenging to me as a writer, you know. Um, it ended up being challenging to me as a performer because ish, everything is so similar, I have to keep remembering you know which you know which part goes first before we go into the first stay which part goes second before we go into the second stay which part do we start the second verse with you know so so all those parts are like so similar i always have to like kind of guard myself and challenge myself and like keep concentration when i'm performing the damn song to actually know what goes where you know so it's like it's, it was a very interesting exercise i think as a producer and as a writer um and it ended up being a very interesting exercise, you know, on, on a musical level, because, you know, when we had the song, you know, D D Doomy came in and he was like, yo, the song needs a moment. You know, the song needs a moment, the song needs to break down, because the beat was just going for a very long time. The beat was just, goo, 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 goo. you know, it was just a sample at the back and whatnot. So we needed a little bit of moment, and that's where the song kind of breaks down before it goes back into the hook. So, yeah. Still hasn't come. Uh, give me a bounce for the truth when it enters This that Nelson Mandela flow on maximum sentence Yo. Dedicated to all zeros. Your So there was this beat that I got from Oots Man, it was a very jiggy beat It was so bouncy, it was so, you know um, It had this, um, I think it was a, it's an accordion I think they call it an accordion And the song was like so well produced You know, I, 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 I written the verse, I recorded the verse and we were gonna get Bafana from Gwani Experience to come and sing it. And then we were gonna get Momolimi to come and write the last verse because it was so fitting and it was so proper. And I sent it to Momolimi and Mo was like, I don't like this beat. You know, he was like, I really don't like this beat. I don't like beats that have accordion. It's not my favorite instrument and so on and so forth. And I was like, okay, cool. And that was the first X, you know? And then we got we got Bafana from Kwani. And he came and he recorded and he sang and he did all these things. You know, and, and eventually the song was just me and him. Um, and then we just decided, you know, maybe the song only has one verse. You know, we should do the song with just one verse and just have Bafana come in there and do his singing thing. And then after a while we listened to it and we were like, yo man, this singing is not really, you know, what we want for the song. And so this song was like very, very numb. It was in a place where like nothing was working. All we had was this verse, you know? And we, we, we took the verse and we gave it to Tiago um, from 340 Mail. Uh, and we said, yo Tiago, what can you do for this? You know, uh, we briefed him on the album. I, I found it to be interesting because as a person who's well-traveled, um, I felt that he would kind of understand what the song was about because the song, what the song is about, really is. As uh, I just believe that as Africans, you know, if you know, at some stage Mugabe gave people um, money, you know, um, and 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 all those decisions that he made kind of got them to a point where the money had all these zeros on it. I want Zim dollar zeros. I want my ten rand to have that many zeros, and I want to walk around with that amount of money you know um on in, in 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 this ratio you know and that's really where the political idea of it comes you know um it's it was more like i wanted to politic about our worth i wanted to politic about why i think we're worth so much you know um especially based on what we've gone through you know we didn't even have zeros to begin with and these guys came with zeros you know um and now all of a sudden we find ourselves in a position where you know our countries are owing them 
you know whereas it's like yo don't you owe us for everything that you've done you know um so I, I here I was and I was passing this verse off to to this white guy. <laughs> he produced the song, you know, and 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 I found myself listening to this thing differently because how I wanted it to sound originally, it was like a very bouncy song, you know, give me your bounce for the truth when it enters. This, uh, you know, it was a very like very light song, you know, um, that I wanted to politic on, and and when he took it and he came back with it, yo, it just sounded like an audio 3D song, you know, it it sounded like it had some sort of drive you know he even gave me the traditional signature you know kind of guitar strum that you get on like do me and the volume music you know what i mean you get that that guitar strum or that guitar play that he does you know what i mean that was like wow this is so pure and so beautiful you know and i think based on where he's from and based on where he's been around the world and all the things that he's experienced i think he kind of he produced that song like a song that he understood you know um, especially because it's just one verse, you know. I think he he gave it the kind of treatment that I think it was it was really really meant to go with. Um, so we really enjoyed that. And just to, as an extra touch to everything, I, I actually went on a search to find a, a Mugabe speech. You know, I wanted to find something that would really show um, the true sense of you know um, some of some of some of the things that we deserve in the world you know um and that's why i kind of picked that speech you know instro helped me actually find that speech but we really wanted to find a speech that really spoke about the land you know we really wanted to speak a speech because you know for a very long time i'd like to think that this guy fought for a lot of things but the most important thing that he actually wanted to give to his people was the land you know for, so that people can actually own the land that they walk on you know so yeah that was that was the idea behind them yes, yeah. what's one as diamond empowerments the oil up in the gold or in the gold in the government and add a cure for this aids because my brothers are suffering your trust in this see when it comes to my sustenance give me something other than another speech from the government